up? It's Way Up with Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and we have a special guest today, Lionel T.J. Tillman, author of How I Stop Child Support Legally. Yes. Now, child support is always a hot topic up here. Okay. Um, so, first of all, let's talk about you and, and what made you decide to write this book. Um, unfortunately, I was put in a situation where I had to represent myself um, in a two-year hearing against child support in the county of Los Angeles and ultimately got my case dismissed for extrinsic fraud after mm -hmm. 22 years. Wow. So what happened? Um, so they started a child support case against me, and I found out about it seven years after it opened. So when I found out about the case, I was already $24,000 in arrears because it had accumulated, and they add up um, compounded interest on top of the money. That's ridiculous. So. It's already $24,000 in arrears when I find out about the case. I contact them and say, hey, what's going on? Um, they say, well, you know, you have six months to respond according to family code, such and such, and it's been seven years. I'm like, seven years? What do you mean it's been seven years? And they say, well, yeah, it's been seven years, so there's nothing that you can do. You may want to contact the court and, you know, the contact them. I contact the court. They say, yeah, it's been, it's been the time it passed. Your response is untimely. And that went on for another 13 years. So was this a situation where they were supposed to at least serve you? Yes. So you knew that you had a court date. So what happened when they tried to serve you? They said, they allegedly said that they served me at, which I later proved, was a vacant house. Oh, wow. So they forged a signature of someone named Michael Tillman. My name is Lionel Tillman. <laughs> Michael is a common name, but uh, there's not a person named Michael in my family. Um, so they said that they served me at this date, at this time. And what I proved in court, I um, subpoenaed the Department of Water and Power to come testify of who lived at this place on this day. They said they didn't have any power there. I also subpoenaed the owner of the home. Sheesh, you had to do this on your own? On, on my own. I subpoenaed the owner of the home, and she said, well, on this date at this time, I didn't have any tenants there. So how could you serve somebody at this location? That's a DJ Nori just walked in too. I hey. know Nori. Hey. I don't know if I you wanted it. to be on this. Uh, no, <laughs> He's like, I was like, is, is there something going on here? <laughs> oh, put my boy T. <laughs> my brother, look at you. Oh man, trying to do your thing. Okay. And so, okay, so let's go back to this. So this was actually your child. No, it wasn't even your child. No. Woo! All right. It, so the plot thickens. So gets, who it, was the person that was suing you for child support? The county of Los Angeles. But who was the child? Like what the like? So that it started because the let's just take it back. At the time where the child was conceived, I was twelve years old. <gasps> it gets deep. It it it's, it's on layers to unpack all of this. Um. So once I turned eighteen, they started the case. I found out about seven years later. So during during that time, they was giving the mother uh, government assistance, so right. cash aid, food stamps. So this is how this money started to accumulate. Did you even know the mother? I knew her. Yes. Okay. Okay. So it, it's crazy because she was a a friend of my cousin at the time. Again, I'm 12 years old. This is this is in 1990. So it it, it, it was a different time back then. So it's like she. I met her that the day that we attempted to do something, that was the first day I met her. Okay. I'm 12 years old. Right. And it, it gets even How deep. old was she? Uh, I think she was 14 or 15. Okay. Um, And me not, it was being my first time. Mm -hmm. I never even penetrated her. Okay. Like, I never penetrated her at all. So as as time went on, it's like, okay, she she had a baby. But it's like, okay, what well, is it my child? Again, now I'm 13 years old. We're in 1990. I don't, there's no communication between families and things of mm -hmm. this nature. And that's the last that I heard of it until 2020, I mean, 2003, when I got a call from HR saying that they finished our garnishing my checks. Wow. Yeah. yeah, because I always hear stories about people who have child support, they owe back child support, mm -hmm. and then they can do a, a multiple things before they arrest you because they'll garnish your wages, they'll maybe revoke your driver's license. Mm -hmm. So what were the things that happened to you? Um, so what, at that time, they the first thing they did, they suspended my license. Mm -hmm. Um, they suspended my license. Um, they put a freeze on my passport, which I didn't even know because I wasn't trying to get a passport, but they did it anyway. Um, bank levy. They sent 
after a time it had accumulated, they sent the $48,000 bank levy to my account. I didn't have $48,000 in there, but what was in there was all I had, and, and and they took it all. So it, it it was is it it was rough. So then you so then but the women had to the woman who had the child she did go and say that you were the father and that's why yes okay so that's why this mm-hmm. happened yes so there was nobody else she was claiming was the father only you correct okay mm-hmm. all right so then you get this then you find out seven years in mm-hmm. arrears and mm-hmm. you have to end up going and representing yourself so you weren't even able to get an attorney to represent you. No, at, at that time, no. So just so you understand, when I found out about it, this is seven years. Right. I go to the court. The courts tell me, you had six months to respond. Mm-hmm. There's nothing that we can do. This went on for another 13 years. So now it's 20 years. Oh, my God. Right. So now they're garnishing, bank levies, license suspensions, off and on. That affects your credit. That All affects that. you being able to buy a house, get a car, sometimes even get a job because people do uh, check of your course. credit in those situations. So this went on for 20 years. So when I took them to court and it everything changed for me, um, so I'm paying them, a, on top of the money that they're taking, I'm paying an additional $50 so I can keep my license. But every year my license got suspended for a system error. Mm -hmm. So at this point, like I said, it's 13 years that went by. We're doing this dance every year. I got to call you, pay you another $50 to release my license, pay the DMV another $75 to reinstate my license. And now I got to do this again next year because it's going to happen again. Right. So this particular year, I'm like, yo, why do I keep going through this? Like, man, this is fraud. Like what? And a lady said, fraud. What do you mean fraud? You got served. And I'm like, wait, I got served? So you didn't even realize. Okay. No. And she's like, you got served? I'm like, well, tell me when I got served. She like, she placed me on hold. She come back. I'm sorry, Mr. Tillman. We do not have your signature. I'm like, well, I know you don't have my signature mm-hmm. because I've been with me every day of my life. I know I didn't get served. <laughs> I've been with me every day. <laughs> so I, and she was like, but she, immediately she said, that don't matter anyway. Because you volunteered into the program. I oh, said, I wow. did what? I said, well, tell me what day I volunteered. I bull crap you not, Angie. This lady put me on hold. I'm on a hold. She come back. I'm sorry, Mr. Tillman. We do not have your signature. I'm going crazy as anyone. I need to speak to manager, this, 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 and this. They get me to a, it's a department called Umbuzz. They are like eternal affairs for child support, mm-hmm. but they didn't do anything. Yeah. And from that point on, I knew that they were supposed to serve me. And I, at that point, I knew that child support was voluntary because she said I volunteered into the program. Wow. Okay. So okay. So child support was voluntary. Child support is voluntary. Is voluntary. Mm-hmm. So okay, I did not know that child support is voluntary. I thought that if you want to put, you know, your child's father on child support or your child's mother Mm because it works both ways Mm -hmm. right you go to court Mm -hmm. and then they have to show up to court Mm -hmm. but then you cannot volunteer for the program so the thing is you have to consent in order for them to establish the child support case they have to establish paternity Mm -hmm. paternity is is voluntary now whether you sign in an acknowledgement of paternity in a hospital or you're doing a dna testing or you actually showing up to a hearing and voluntarily uh, consenting that this is your child. Mm-hmm. So once that happens, they need your consent in order to to proceed forward. And there is, and what a lot of people don't understand is, there's a Supreme Court case law. It's called Blessing versus Freestone, where um, the child support themselves and the courts ruled that there is no entitlement to child support. There is no right to child support. And where people are always saying, well, this is. In that case, child support actually told on themselves. And that they always use in that child support is in the best interest of the child. Mm-hmm. In that case, they got sued by five women from Arizona who their children were receiving government assistance. And when the people, they was child support was keeping all of the money. And the ladies, they sued child support and like, hey, why are you keeping all of our money? And child support said, hey, that ain't your money. That's our money. <laughs> and they told them that, Child support is not in the benefit of the child. It's in the best interest of the state. And that's that's they can collect all of those arrears. 
Wow. So how do you think that child support, because it is, I think across the board, a lot of people will ag- agree that it's a very flawed system. Mm-hmm. All right. So having gone through what you've gone through, what do you think is the best way for a child support to exist or should it exist? How can that happen? Because there is a responsibility when paternity is established mm-hmm. that it shouldn't have to be just on one parent of course. to have to take care of that. What are your thoughts having gone through this? Um, I do believe, honestly, that if a person don't take care of their offspring, then they need to be on child support, 1,000%. Mm-hmm. Um, the, the the issue is Title IV of the Social Security Act and Title IV D, that, that's what needs to change because they're still operating on procedures that were put in place in 1935. Right. Times have definitely changed. Times have definitely changed. Um, so the establishment of paternity they violate the separation of powers. There's three branches of government, mm-hmm. judicial, legislative, and executive. If you partake in one branch of government, you can't partake in the in another branch. Child support, they create their own laws, family code. They enforce their own uh, codes through child support enforcement, and they find you guilty in their own hearings, which is partaking in a judicial. That's what needs to change in regards to child support. So this whole journey is what caused you to do a lot of research mm-hmm. because representing yourself yeah. is not an easy task to do no, either. What's your what's your profession outside of Um I, I am the trustee of a global t shirt print company. I didn't have no legal background. Mm-hmm. It's just every I use their own evidence against them. Right. So I kept it real simple. Did you follow your own policy? Yes or no? Mm-hmm. It I didn't have a legal background, so that's all that I can do. Do you get reimbursed then? What happens after that when it turns out that the way that they allegedly served you, even though they didn't, was illegal and mm-hmm. had you paying? So yes. Yeah, so when the case, your checks. when the case got dismissed, they offered to pay me back dollar for dollar, no interest, no nothing. Right, I declined <laughs> it. So I took them to federal court for for twenty two years of damages. Um, and as of right now, we have a lawsuit in federal court. Um, they've made two settlement offers since then, but it, it's, it's just disrespectful. Right. So. Uh, and so being that your checks were garnished, did this, did this mean that you had to kind of get paid off the books for a period of time? Because I would think anybody, I know people who have child support cases that when they are working, they're like, is there a way I can get paid so it doesn't go through that because my checks are garnished? Yeah. No, I mean... I, at that point, that's how I, and that's the thing. I didn't, I wasn't working for those first seven years. I was in the streets. Mm-hmm. So there was nothing for them to garnish. Okay. So once I got a job. And that's that, when you found out. That's when I found out about it. So I, I wasn't going back to the streets. So it, it, your only option is to get garnish because right. you got to work. Yeah. Yeah. So I wasn't going back to that lifestyle. And that's also something that your job knows about that, too, when they start garnishing. So that's embarrassing because it's like, oh, he's not taking care of his kids. He's not paying his child support. What happened to the woman who had accused you? Nothing. There's 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 no accountability there. And and the 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 thing is, I really don't even like talking about her in regards to child support because she was a pawn. Like it had. What child support does, it has nothing to do with the actual woman. Mm-hmm. Like there, and and my goal is not to tear down a black woman. Right. On, but it, it, the 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 thing is, anything that I say in regards to her, and her uh, involvement in it, is not going to be good. So I, that's. Did it. you raise that child like it was your own? No, I had no relationship with the child. Right, that's what I'm asking. Because yeah. once you find out, and once you, is that a, a See? is that something that would cause you to want to reach out and say, okay, I want to get a, have a relationship at least with which which I did. Um, my sister and him connected on Facebook as he got older, mm-hmm. um, and at one point, I reached out to her directly. I called my cousin. My cousin did some research, found her. I called her. I said, hey, you know, um, I'm getting older. Like, let's just figure it out. If it is, let's, I know, we know that I didn't penetrate. We didn't, we right. was trying, let's just try to figure it out. And um, I call her. She had me on hold for a whole hour. 
and you held on. <laughs> I, I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone. Ooh, I forgot I was on hold. That happens. No, she, look, because I'm she. She tells right. me he don't even live with me no more. He lives with the grandmother of my other kid. I'm like, all right, well, give me the grandmother number. She, she said, all right. She placed me on hold. I promise you, I'm on hold for over an hour. I hang up. I call right back. Like, yo, what's up with the number? She was like, um, when you gonna give me some? What are you talking about when I'm going to give you some? What? Like, this <laughs> I, This is why I don't even, because right. anything that I say about her is going, right. and, and that's not my goal. Right, and, you know, this does more than anything affect the child. Yeah. Because this child is thinking, like, that's my dad. My dad wasn't here, mm -hmm. you know, for me. So you were the only dad that he thought, or did he, was he aware that you were supposed to be? So when I actually spoke with him, um, he told me that, in the beginning, my mother told me that you were my father. As I got older, she told me who my actual father was, and this is who I know wow. my father to be. This is the relationship I have. He is my father, and 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 that's where we that's where we left for that. So now we're waiting to find out what kind of. So now you have a lawsuit mm -hmm. against the state of California. Is that or child support enforcement? Okay, um, and the county of Los Angeles. The county of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. And so, what is it that you would take from them? Because this is something that affected your life for twenty-two yeah, years. For twenty-two years, that's not a small thing. Yeah. You know, checks being garnished, people knowing about that, also mentally. Feel, feeling like you couldn't live up to your responsibilities maybe as a, you know, perhaps I'm a dad, perhaps I'm not. Yeah, I mean, because you have, like, chapter five of my book is called um, Child Support Institutionalized. Mm -hmm. and, 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 like, that's a real thing. Like, when that case got dismissed for fraud, and I want to be clear, it got dismissed for fraud. Um, like, you, you don't just go back to live living a, a a happy life is I've been under these conditions for 22 years. So like, it was hard for me to even put things in my name. It's like, I just don't know if they going to take it or, right. and it's like, I had, had to even tell myself, like at times I would go to like, I see an ATM. This is, and it's, it's crazy. And you probably gonna be like, why are you going to just check it on your phone? But I would stop at ATMs. I just want to see that I have money. what's the balance. Yeah, like like, like no. And what was your credit score during this time? It was in the five hundreds. Wow, you can't do anything. With you can't do it. anything in the five hundreds. And then even as it goes up, it's still once those negative they get the hit and they is negative, negative, negative. It don't go nowhere. Right. If you think about the things you could have been able to do with the yeah. money, with the credit score. Opportunity costs. Yeah. With the opp yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So all of that is included in, in in that 22 years of damage. Now, you're not still representing yourself, are you? Do you? Yeah. You still are? I, I, I don't. Because I, I. Yeah. Okay. I don't have. I don't have the finances to to go against the county of Los Angeles in federal court. Mm -hmm. they, they're going to bury me. So th luckily for me, um, I have a fee waiver. So because to represent yourself in, in, in federal court is it, it's pretty pricey. And I mean, what you know. Because I would feel like an attorney would think that you're going to actually win this case and that therefore they would be able to assist, yeah. uh, c get compensated, you know, a percentage of what you end up getting. I mean, we, we 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 way up with Angela Yee now, so hopefully, so. <laughs> I mean, that's that's what I'm I'm thinking yeah. could potentially happen because this feels like something that also I'm sure other people have been affected. You know, you're not the only person something like this. Of course not. Happened to, and this not. is not a way to knock people who should be paying child support. Of course. But this is a way to say this wasn't even your child. You were never served. Mm -hmm. You didn't even live at that address. Yeah. And then why should you have to suffer from the repercussions of that? Yeah. Yeah. And I want to make it very clear, like the when I say child support is fraud, it is not to challenge a parents responsibility to take care of their children. That's not what this is. I'm challenging the child support system itself. Did you follow your own policies? Yes or no. Mm -hmm. That's it. We just want to make it even because right. when if a person doesn't take care of their kids, they need to be on child support one thousand percent. Yeah. And, and 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 I just also want to be clear, too, 
anything that I say up here is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney, <laughs> but I represented myself, you know, to to be able to obtain remedy. Do you think that there should be some accountability for the mom legally? Yes. Mm-hmm. For yeah, if you go, if you partake and and and, and lie and assist in the fraud, then yeah, you should be held accountable. Fraud, okay. Yeah, just like them PPP loans, mm. you know. But... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, cause like you got to think like I represented myself in their own venue, and I got them to say that they committed fraud. Mm-hmm. After 20, that, that wasn't easy. Right. That wasn't easy. I know a few people that have got their case dismissed, but to have it dismissed for fraud, mm-hmm. extrinsic fraud to be exact. And, and that's just because they don't follow their own procedures. And Is there something more that you're you're trying to do as far as helping other people who yeah. may be in this situation? Yeah, and that's the whole thing with the platform, childsupportersfraud.com, or even the, the IG, Child Supporters Fraud. I educate parents on their parental rights on how to because especially and it's it's not just one sided in for men but it's ninety eight percent of people on child support mm-hmm. is, is men. Um, a lot of them don't even know that they have parental rights, and it's just to educate them that you have parental rights. There's a Supreme Court case law. It's called Santowski versus Kramer, which says that every natural parent has a fundamental liberty interest and the care, custody, and management of their children. So there's a lot of parental alienation going on. So my 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 thing is just educating parents that you do have parental rights and you can fight to get more time with your children. Okay, as and as you should want as to. You, as you Sometimes should. that can be a really difficult thing. Yeah. Now you also you do have children now, yes. though, right? Okay, how many? I got 3. Three kids. Mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> paying child support on any of those? No. <laughs> okay, the, the, I'm just playing with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. My my, uh-huh. my kids resided with me every day of their life. Wow. So, you home. should be, okay. Yeah, like, so for me, like, even all three of my kids resided with me every day of their life. Mm-hmm. So, it, I'm a I'm a great parent. I believe, you know. Right. Yeah, yeah. How, so, how much did you end, <laughs> how much did you end up paying in total? And and that they've garnished from you, that they garnered from it, it was uh, sixty seven thousand. Okay, sixty seven thousand. Mm-hmm. And so they were trying to offer you just sixty seven thousand yes. flat, and you were like, no, there's all kinds of things that this actually uh, caused issues for me in in many different ways, and then interest. You know, sixty seven thousand back then is not what it, it is, is now yeah. at all today with inflation. Yeah, no, and on just top for- of interest, on top of you could have been purchasing. You know anything? Anything, mm-hmm. and, and, it, and that's the thing is just they they don't care. Like it, even after you said you committed fraud, and then you still turn around and say, "All right, we'll, we'll offer you this," and no interest, no anything, just take this and go away. N- nah, I'm not doing that. I'm not taking it because it's as my mess. It's bigger than Nino Brown. <laughs> 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 like yeah, no. If, if I if y'all gonna. I'm I'm trying to take the whole thing down to where y'all not following y'all own policies. And that's that's the that's the main problem. And that's why I keep saying it. Well, a lot of people will say that child support uh, system is flawed mm-hmm. in, in many different ways. You know, again, like I always want to make sure whoever is the main caregiver, because somebody called in for Ask Ye yesterday and their issue was that um, they had a child. And the father, I guess, got back together with his ex. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, you put me on child support, I'm not doing anything for my kid anymore. And that's it. And and she said he's not even paying the child support. But the system will take care of, of that in mm-hmm. that situation because he's already on child support. If you don't pay, you know, they'll do all kinds of things that will make your life more difficult and then end up garnishing Yeah, and that's a, like, that's his a, wages. I posted something last week to where a guy and the girl they was in you know having a conversation and i believe he paid like 2200 a month or something like that and he she was like yo why are you not um buying your kid nothing for christmas and he was like well i paid 2200 i can't afford it mm-hmm. and it's just like for me it, it's a slippery slope because it's like uh i i don't see the the point of making your kids suffer because of what y'all got going on right some people feel like i don't want to give her no yeah, money yeah. but not understanding that whether she spends it on herself or the kids money does end up having to 
you know, go towards your child as far as housing, food, school, mm. medical, all of those things have to be taken into account. Of course. And, and that's the thing is just like, and, and that's why to take care of them kids, though, man, because this ain't because <laughs> this ain't Regardless, no get this ain't yeah. no this ain't no get out of jail free card. Right. And that's what all when, and whenever I say child support is fraud, I always say, man, take care of them kids, though, because mm-hmm. this ain't no get out of jail free card. That's not what this is. If you come in here looking for something just to get out of uh, responsibility of taking care of your kids, this ain't it. This ain't that I'm advocating for parents to get equal opportunity with their children and ensuring that the child support system itself is following their own procedures. All right. Well, where can people find out more information? And maybe there's some attorneys out here who are like, this mm-hmm. is something I would be willing to take on because I know I'm going to get paid on the back end. Yeah. <laughs> um, so everything can be found on childsupportersfraud.com mm-hmm. or Instagram is childsupportersfraud. Um, just keep it real simple. Um, that that's YouTube, Instagram, that everything is on child support is fraud. And for somebody who feels like they're being taken advantage of in a situation where it's not their child or they were never served or whatever the case is, what would you tell them is the first step? The first, the very first thing that I did was I took it back to the very beginning. I went and got copies of the summons, the complaint, the proof of service, the default, and the actual judgment in my case because that's where the remedy comes from. You cannot challenge jurisdiction without having those documents in your hand to know what they filed. Because even for me, I'm looking at my documents. Some of the documents are completely blank. Right. But there, there's something called prima facie to where uh, you've heard of yeah. uh, innocent, yeah. until, innocent until proven guilty. That's in a judicial process. But child support is administrative. They work under prima facie. Prima facie says that the court is taking whatever is filed as true and correct until you provide evidence to say that it's not. So as long as you just letting it go by and go by, go by, they've taken it as it's true and correct, and it's going to stay the way it is. All right. Well, thank you so much for this uh, conversation, for people to understand your journey. Hopefully, you know, somebody reaches out again. That's at Child Support is Fraud. You mm-hmm. can reach out to Lionel T.J. Uh, mm-hmm. Tillman there. Also, his book, How I Stopped Child Support Legally. Mm-hmm. Again, he ain't saying don't take care of your kids. No, I ain't. He's I, saying I, take care of them kids. Because <laughs> this ain't no but get out of your situation situation car. Yeah. was definitely something that was a, a different type of situation, but could happen to anybody is yeah. the main thing. Of course. Yeah. And I know there's some nonprofits or whoever, if anybody has any, any uh, support, even though you've come a long way yeah. on your own, it, but... It, it, it's it, and it's crazy. It's crazy. Like, just even to think about the the Instagram page. Like, I released that book, January, December twenty third, two thousand and twenty two. In in two thousand and twenty three, that I had four thousand followers at that time. When that book released, right now it's at one hundred and sixty some thousand. Just because the information and it, it is is growing at a rapid rate to where, in addition to this, I. I'm an executive producer of a movie that's going to be on Peacock February 2nd. Oh, really? What's that? It's called Bosco. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's another one of my friends. He got 15, he got 35 years for attempting to possess marijuana. Um, they gave him 35 years and he broke out of jail three times. He escaped three times. Um, he turned around, fired his attorney, represented himself, and got his case overturned um, after 16 years. He got out 19 years early. They did a movie on his life, and it's coming out on Peacock uh, February 2nd uh, of this year. Wow. Well, that's a special yeah. <laughs> representing yourself, too. Yeah. 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 That's not an easy thing to do. They always say, every time I see video footage of somebody representing themselves, it never goes well. So that's yeah. like, <laughs> this <laughs> well, is absolutely I amazing. I don't know. It's something about the water in Compton. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, again, thank you so much for joining us. It's Way Up with Angela Yee. 